American, a Mexican eldest run for American president. Well, I am trying to take back Aslan. Aslan is California, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas. All this will be the new District Columbia, the new DC, District Chicago. And I have a plan. Eat a lot of So you better shape up. I have an Italian plan for America. A Mexicano plan. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wipe out all that thing. So you better shape up because... And ladies and gentlemen, you better believe me because you know I know. I'm the one that you want, baby. Yes, I am. I am your no uncle Sam. I am the one that you want. You want me. And it's going to be a red, white, and blue suede shoe with that thing. And you can do whatever you want, baby. But don't accept my white suede shoe. And get this song in front of you. I feel like they just can't vote for me, so this is not really working. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Good night. Please. Mr. Bush and Mr. Gore didn't happen to get across the border today. I guess they had trouble getting across the border, and Alves this time didn't. And so this was supposed to be like a political debate, but I, I guess I'm going to throw out questions to the audience. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Alves about my president campaign, my, my you know, sexual matters, like most we, I have no Louis keys in my closet, very open like that. But anyone has any questions out there, anyone, like I see many beautiful faces, anybody? Uh, yes. Uh, what is the name of your political party? It's the same question as you. You must have been at the other show. What platform am I writing on? Well, you know, I tell you, I am not a Democrat. And I, I'm obviously not a Republican. And I, I'm not part of the Green Party. It's more like a brown party, like a brown fiesta. And everyone's invited. But, but we need a symbol. We need a symbol. And, and we're not going to use the jacket because that's what we're thinking. And nothing stodgy like the outfit. We need something something really groovy. Something that says that, that's it. Groovy. Yeah. 
time. I have to give my opponents a fair shake. They cannot take off their clothes as easily as I can. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions from my political... Yes, you have a question, sir. How do you feel about the Elvets in office? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Elvets are going to be my running mates, my first ladies. Combination of two. Round of applause. The lovely ladies will be my first ladies, my first and second, and my running mates, because we have a lot to run around. The lovely Elvets, Lisa Maria, and Press Anita, and I feel about them really nice. They feel very nice. Good question. Yes, any questions more out there? Uh, yes. What are, yes. Your, what are your views on immigration? Yes, you with the loud voice. Say it one more time, I can't hear you. Oh, what are your views on immigration? Well, I, my views on immigration, I think, are pretty clear. I say open the gates. America is supposed to be the land of the free and the home of the brave. There's a lady in the harbor of New York City called the Statue of Liberty, and she says, bring me your homeless, tired, and weary. It's supposed to be open opportunity. America is supposed to be the melting pot. A melting pot, and my idea for the new millennium is to make that pot even hot. Her. And I want to mix it up and make the immigrations come in and open the gates because it's a working opportunity for everyone to get along. And it's, I'm going to turn into like a, like a striptease like I'm thinking about so hot. So I'd like to do this song. It goes something like this. E maestro. Okay. I've been traveling over I was trying to, I was trying to butt up the, 
the Republican vote in Texas. You know, there's many things wrong in Texas because they have this guy named Bush and his nephew tries to think that his, uh, you know, the guy, you know, the guy is, is a, is a look, he's a Chavez, he's a Chavez, and that's a bitch of caca, and I can, I'm not gonna stand that. So it's up to you people, it's not up to you people, but it's up to your friends in America. See, I got to change the whole show around because of you guys, are special. It's a very new challenge for me. But I will never pretend, we'll pretend right now, you'll all be impersonators, American impersonators. There you go. So it's up to you people to vote because you have to remember you have the power. You have the power in your hand. The power to change is part of the democratic process. And this is a song that goes out to all the people. A power to the people.
like a little bee and it's so beautiful. What are you doing? You're dressed like an Elvis fan, how funny. <laughs> Thank you, I will give you both a presidential. I'm kissing the babies, this is part of my job. Thank you, baby, that's beautiful, I love that. Uh, you guys really put the camp into campaign and that's really cool. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you have any birthdays the big questions you'd like to ask our guys? I wanted you to sing a birthday song for me. Okay, let's do the impromptu birthday song for the two girls. Ready guys? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Anyone in the back with a loud voice? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Not loud enough, baby. Next time. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, in the future, I'll give everyone a microphone. But yes, you, who, whoever you are, the voice, strange voice in the back. Yes. Why are you running for American office when you say all these anti-American things? Uh, are you a Canadian or something? <laughs> I did not write that title. I, th I, buddy, I think it's called freedom of speech, and the door's right out there. Well, some, some people might say, hey, Elvis, you're a rebel rouser, say it loud, I'm proud, I'm proud, immigration rights. This is all about freedom of speech, buddy. And you know, I have, I have a love affair with America. I, I see my love affair as a relationship, as a statue of liberty, she's the woman in my life. And sometimes I'm standing in front of her, and sometimes I enter her and climb all the way up the statue of liberty. I, I can see through her eyes, and other times it's like I'm in Brooklyn, she doesn't even see me across the bay. And I said, it's a strange thing. America has done many wrong things and many right things and still I keep on coming back. I don't know why I could jump to the lever. This is a song that Elvis Presley did and I think it kind of sums up my... I'm going to have to add some water for this. This is a tough one. I hope I can do it for you, Stormy, the perfect way. This is a song. A dramatization of my relationship with the United States of America and Miss Liberty. E my song.
Society, I think the best measure of a society is how they treat their people. And I think socialized medicine is something we're going to have to do in America. And that's what I'm going to establish. And one of the things we're going to have, we're going to have better dis... That's all we have? We're going to have better distribution than this, because all we have is one right now. We're going to have distribution of condoms. And we're going to have better, because, you know, an answer prevented it is a threat and computer or like that. And so it's for SIDA, for AIDS, for... Um, say, you know, don't have to have an abortion if you can break conception, stop it from all this. You might want to get like that. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, the song maybe is, I, now I'm going to have to change. He's going to get lucky tonight. Okay, well, let me use it for the song as a uh, as an educational tool right there for show and time. They don't give it right back to you, okay? It's yours. It's got your name on it. It's, it's, it's there. Okay, but this, <laughs> Carlos Moreno, of course you remember Carlos Moreno. He, he is, you're going to need more than one, Carlos, I know that. But I'm going to tell you. And this 
Presley in 1956 said, baby, let's play house. And you know what that's about, it's about Gucci Gucci and sex like that. But I say, baby, let's play safe. I want to wear condoms with you. <laughs> Give me E, maestro. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. next year the gospel album it's gonna be a wonderful thing and you know I'm a very religious man but I'm a I'm for separation of church and state and this is a song that's very uh, positive it's about my very first role my coach did he say my mentor my mentor the guy who who inspired me to be all that I could be and when I was a little Elvis I was about skinning about this tall but my hair was like very tall so I looked like I was 16 like a teenager and I couldn't Push him, do you push me to argue? Go, Come on, Elvis, you can do 20. I go, no, I can't, yes, you can. I go, what are you, a Mexican or a Mexican? And so I was a Mexican, of course. So I would like to dedicate this song to the spirit of Steve Haley, my first mentor, who pushed me to be all that I could be for you. And if you ladies, you know the words of this song, you can sing I along. So. I think you know what it is. I was gonna say, I was going to say something like that. You know what be easy. Get together with one another 
Chicana Republicans. It's just, uh, I don't know how they do that, but they do. I dated a girl and she was a Republican, and I thought it I wasn't love, it was more like lust, and I thought it could have gained in my political gains. But this is a song, uh, Elvis used to sing this song, it's an old rockabilly song, and it, it's about this love affair. It's called I'm Left, She's Right, I'm Gone. <laughs> Oh 
job so we can stand on our own to be. You know, flying around in heaven. And we were thinking, wouldn't it be cool like, to enter the body of like a 14 year old Latina girl? You know, and, yeah, nasty girl, not for spirit, spiritually oh. enter the body like spirit guys and stuff. Like, nasty. I'm talking, we were thinking, because wouldn't it be interesting to enter the body of a 14 Latina girl? Because with my know how and his political side, you know, we could make like the new pop thing. Just imagine if Britney Spears was actually saying something. And the oh. power she could have. To lead the revolution, so we're thinking uh, a Latina girl with brown skin, dark skin, doesn't have to be blonde, I'm blonde, for you, I don't know. We have brown that from Cuba could lead the revolution with their pop styles and the merchandise could be one of a powerful hope because I believe that children are the future and uh, I believe music makes the people come together, music makes the bourgeoisie rebel and stuff like that. I still believe in hope. And it's like, it's like this girl, she could sing like, we'll call her like Shay, we'll call her Shay Chiquita, we'll call her like, and she could sing like Abba songs and she could be powerful. And this is, a, is this an all ages club? No. Oh, she's not here tonight, but maybe I'll look, I'll look tomorrow. This is a song about the future. Yes. 
line has been allowed into Toronto so take advantage while the change still lasts. This next song we're going to take you to Aslan. Aslan is the promised land of the Latinos. California, New Mexico, Arizona, California and parts of Toronto. The promised land of the Chicanos. The new DC, the district Chicano. This is my presidential platform to take it back and to give it to everybody. That means you. <laughs>
in black or put it in black. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building and entered the White House. Thank you tonight.